This is Lesson 15 in Module 3. This lesson is about solving division word problems using arrays and area models. We're going to start with our first problem, 10 10 divided by 2, and we're going to show this with an array. So we're going to make a dot for each of our 10, counting by 2's, 4, 6, 8, 10. And as we group these together, we see that there are 5 in each group, and we've used all 10, so we have no remainders. So our equation is 10 divided by 2 is 5, remainder 0. So our quotient equals 5, our remainder is 0. Let's so th show the same problem with an area model. So we're going to draw a rectangle. One side is going to be 2 long since we're dividing by 2. And we're going to count by 2's until we have 10 squares inside the rectangle. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So we have 10 squares inside our rectangle. That's our area. 2 times 5 is 10. So our division problem is 10 for division. We show our total in the area part of the rectangle divided by 2 equals 5. Let's look at a different problem. Let's say instead of 10, now we have 11 that we want to divide by 2. So 11 divided by 2. Let's draw another area model. Again, we're dividing by 2. So let's count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, but I don't have enough to go to the next 2, which would be 12. So I need to stop here, and in the, this rectangle I have 10 squares, and I show my 11th square by itself out here, because I don't have enough to make another group of 10. So I have 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 would be 11. So for my equation, 11 divided by 2 is 5, and this then becomes my remainder, remainder 1. Let's look at another one. For this one, we're going to divide 38, 38, divided by 4. So to make this area model, we'll be counting by 4's. So let's do 4 for one side, and we're going to count by 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and we can't go any further because we only have 38. So we'll draw a rectangle here and we'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4 times 9 is 36, so we have 2 left over as a remainder. So 38 divided by 4 would be 9, remainder 2. So let's use what we've learned to try some problems in our problem set. Let's look at number 1. We have 18 divided by 6, and this directions tell us to show us using an array. So we're counting by 6. So we have 6, then 12, then 18, and 
and we see there's three in each group. So if we have 18 and we divide it into six groups, we would have three in each group with no remainders. Over here it says, now we're going to show it using an area model. So we're going to count by six again. Six, 12, 18. So we have three and six and 18 as our area. And the question is, can you show 18 divided by 6 with one rectangle? Yes, we did that. Okay, you try number 2 by yourself. Okay, so let's see how we did. We have first the array. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, because we're dividing by 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We don't have enough to make another group of sip, 6, so we have 19 by itself. So we have groups of 3. With one left over. So our question would be 3, remainder 1. <clears throat> Let's show that as an area model. Again, we're going to be counting in groups of six. Six, 12, 18. And again, since we only have 19, we can't make another group of six. This one will be off here by itself. So we have six times three is 18 with one left over. Can you show 19 divided by 6 with one rectangle? No. We needed to make two rectangles. So explain how you showed the remainder. We showed the remainder. With a separate rectangle because we couldn't make another group of six. Let's go on to the next problem set. So for each of these you're going to solve it showing using both an array and an area model. The first one's done for you. So you try the next one, number three, by yourself. Okay, let's see how we did here. So we have 29 and we're dividing by three. So we're gonna make our array in groups of three, counting by threes, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and I can't make another group because I only have two left. So making groups of three, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with two left over. So my quotient is nine, remainder two. And my area model would show 29 29 divided by 3 
would be 9. Remainder 2. You try number 4. Okay, let's look at it together. 22 divided by 5, so now we're counting by 5. 1, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, and I have two more so I can't make another group of 5. I see I have 4 in each group. And I've used 20 with 2 left over. So my quotient equals 4. There's 4 in each group with a remainder of 2. In my area model, I have a total of 22. I'm dividing by 5. And I can multiply by 4. 5 times 4 is 20, with a remainder of 2. You try number 5. Okay, let's look at it together. 43 divided by 4. Now we're counting by 4s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And I only have 43, so I can't make another group of four. So my groups now, I have 10 in each group. With 10 in each group, I've used 40, so I would have 3 left over. So my quotient is 10 with a remainder of 3. For my area model, my total goes in the middle as the area. I'm dividing by 4. 10 times 4 is 40, with 3 left over. So 43 divided by 4 is 10, remainder 3. You try number 6. Okay, let's look at it together. We have 59 divided by 7. So we're now making groups of 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. And I only have 59, so I can't make another group of 7. So if I, I now have groups of 8. I have 7 groups of 8. Seven groups of eight means seven groups of eight means I've used fifty-six. I would still have three left over. So fifty-nine divided by seven would be eight, remainder three. Showing it with an area model. The area is fifty-nine. We're dividing by seven. 7 times 8 is 56, with a remainder of 3. 
And that's the end of lesson 15.